Okay guys, um uh, first of all, welcome to Iloilo. I moved from Bacolod to Iloilo by a uh, fast track or fast cat because I'm meeting up my mom here in Iloilo. And one thing is um, there is such a thing as Bar 21 in Bacolod. They're famous for their La Paz Bachoy. But I did go there specifically because I am here in the La Paz market itself. And I'm here to try the so-called best La Paz Bachoy, which is Ted's. Right here. Okay? And I wanted authentic La Paz, so I'm here in La Paz. I'll be going around Iloilo, trying different restaurants. Hopefully, I can get about one episode or today's episode of footage. I don't know. I'm ex I'm enjoying my time here with my family, and most likely, we'll be having a very very good meal later on. See ya. Okay, guys. Um, I entered already. They have three options of bachoy. They have the extra special, oh, extra super. Super special and uh, special. I only got the special one because the other two had liver and innards. Technically, you're supposed to eat it like that, but I'm not a fan of liver or innards. Well, I am a fan of innards, depends on how you cook it. But for La Paz Bacho, I just want that heavenly broth. Look at the, look at the La Paz Bacho they gave me. The yellow noodles are Mickey noodles. That broth takes hours to cook. I think I can consider this as the Filipino ramen. Okay. So technically, it's Ilonggo ramen. Look at that, Look at that soup. It's a nice consomme. Clear broth of bones, pork based bones. Do this on the side. God. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, that soup is quite deceiving. It's clear, but it has <coughs> so much flavor in it. It's like its own kind of league soups. I don't know what they did to this. It has a certain sweetness, a certain flavor to it that's so good. If you notice, there's not a lot of vegetables on this. It's mostly pork and soup. But, wow, what a heavenly bite. The pork is super tender too. But the best way to have this is to mix it all together. The chicharron, the noodle. See, the nice thing about this is their noodle is al dente, not overcooked. I'll we'll get a bit of the chicharron in the soup. Look at that. Chicharron with soup. Mm. Mm. This is really good. La Paz Bat Choy. Now, I'll, I'll change the angle of the camera because I don't want to spill any of this and we'll try some of that noodle look at that noodle look at that noodle yeah. mm. Wow, that noodle is just right, it has a certain bite to it, but that broth, that heavenly broth, coating each noodle perfectly, is what makes this dish awesome. Look at this. Look at that. It's actually really hot to eat right now, but...
this is worth coming to La Paz market for. I remember about 10 years ago, I was here for the La Paz Machoy Festival. I had like six bowls of this. <laughs> that is within a span of seven hours of walking around. I had six bowls of La Paz Machoy. Okay, so I give this a good five out of five flavor wise. They're very prompt. As soon as I ordered, not even five minutes, the dish was here. Okay, so I think this is a really good restaurant to go to. There's a lot of other choices here, but I'm just here for the special. Okay, I'm waiting for my mom and my brother. They're actually buying mangoes. Wait, let me see if they got mangoes. Yeah, they do have mangoes. My mom and my brother bought mangoes. Specifically, Gimaras mangoes. Because we wanted to go to Gimaras today, but it's not in season. But they still have stock of good mangoes here. So, our mangoes are the best. Okay, see you in the next stop. Bye bye for now. Okay, guys, here's an update. Um, after the market, we came back to the hotel. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I'm staying here in Richmond Hotel in Iloilo. It's actually a whole lot better than the hotel we stayed at in, in Bacolod. Primarily because the internet is more stable and the rooms are a bit more modern. But uh, El Fisher has a certain charm to it that I like. So, anyways, we're here in the new it's festive, festive mall area, and it's actually a project by Mega World. It looks like um, it looks somewhat like Eastwood City in Manila. So it's actually really modern. Mm. After this, we will be trying to look for a Tibiao Bakery. Tibiao Bakery is actually known for their Teren Teren. Teren Teren is a uh, it's a bread that looks like I don't know it's basically twisted bread but there's a filling inside it's somewhat similar to the Philippine the Tagalog Spanish bread it's called Spanish bread you can buy in the Tabi Tabina bakery but it has the same filling as that I'm going to try and look for that it's a local delicacy here and then maybe we will try to pass by a biscotto house. Biscotto house. Biscotto actually originated here, according to them. And the most famous one is biscotto house. They also have good uh, butterscotch. So, I hope I have enough space in my stomach for all of that today. Okay? So, until we get to our next destination. My mom and my brother are just dropping off the mangoes and the... Uh, Cadios and the batuan that we bought from the market. Oh, you're bringing home a lot of produce from Iloilo to Manila. Okay, see you in the next stop, guys. Okay, guys, um, I'm here in SM City. I decided to look for Tibiao Bakery. Meron sila, they have Tibiao Bakery here, but it's, it's they serve this this bread that I'm looking for. It's called Teren Teren. It's freshly out of the oven. Now, <laughs> reason why here in SM is my brother's looking for this Icos uh, cigarettes for his he can smoke inside the house. And <laughs> thankfully, I found this here. Oh, it's nice and hot. This is Teren Teren. It smells buttery. It looks like an ordinary pull away bread but inside is this filling see this outside that that's the filling inside and each segment has a lot of that we'll give our first bite of Teren Teren in 10 years mm. come around I'm feeling it. Yep, my brother getting Teren Teren. How'd you find it? 
nice and crusty on the outside it's very sweet filling in the middle very buttery but all in all flavor wise really good I have one more segment oh that's good told you it's full of that full of that stuff it's like a sweet salted caramel filling mm -hmm. the only thing we are missing right now is biscotto house biscotto and our seafood feast in what do you call this in breakthrough okay and maybe if we can find molo uh, Pancit Molo is actually originally from here. See? They have really good food in Iloilo. They also have great food in Bacolod, but I didn't have enough time going around there. So we'll concentrate on what we have right now. So, yeah. Okay guys, uh, I'm here in Molo, technically I've asked a lot of taxi drivers, I've asked a lot of locals and this is the most suggested place in Molo for for Pancit Molo. Pancit Molo is actually originally from here and all of the taxi drivers told me you have to try Cup Easings. I googled it, it's number one. And according to them, uh, it's uh, Im impossible to miss. So, let me show you what it looks like. This is a uh, molo soup. It's a clear consomme with chives. And it's a, like, how do I, it's the Filipino wonton soup. Okay. We'll give the soup first a try. Mm. Oh my god, that soup. That soup is super flavorful. I'll give it another try. Simplicity of dishes here is mind blowing. Mm. That broth. Now let's try their dumpling. That wrapper melts in your mouth, and that meat. the meat filling is perfectly seasoned. It's not too overpowering, and you really know that it's handmade because you can actually taste the difference between a store-made one and a a homemade one like this. This has a lot of character and a lot of tradition behind it. Mm. Now I know why it is a corner. No, it's hidden. It's a hole in the wall. It's hidden from the normal road. It's actually not on Google Maps. But just tell your driver when you come here. Tell the taxi driver you want to go to Cap Easings, and they know where it is. This is a. How do I put it? No, this is a. A great food you find and if ever you're here in Iloilo don't forget to pass by you're not going to regret coming here the food is spectacular yeah I don't know what's with Iloilo they have the Filipino style of ramen which is the lapas batchoy and they have a Filipino version of the wonton noodle soup which is molo both are exceptionally good okay so I'll finish this and then we'll see you in the next stop. Bye bye. Okay guys, 
Um, I know we've been going on a food trip this whole day. Uh, we've already had Bachoy from La Paz. We've had Molo from Molo. And we have tried every single Ilo, -ilo dish that, I've, that I know of. But one Ilongo dish, not Ilo, -ilo Ilongo dish we haven't tried in a while is KBL or Kadios Baboy Langka. I'm here in Breakthrough, which is a seafood restaurant. We're gonna have a seafood feast and they also serve their famous KBL. Okay, so we'll be having that and a few other dishes. And I love this place because I'll take a panoramic view with a 360 camera outside because we are by the beach. Okay, so join me as we eat this heavenly feast with me and my family. Bye bye. Guys, our orders have arrived. Here's what they are. We have steamed shrimp. We have sizzling crab meat. The freshly fried with lemon butter sauce. Tanige. The chicharong bulaklak. Freshly cooked calamares. And the specialty of the house, Kadios Baboy Langka. Okay, so we will eat as a family. And I'll give you the review of the dishes one by one. See ya. Okay, let's first try this. I know this is not healthy in any other in any form or way, but this is one of my favorite. This is chicharong bulaklak. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Check this out. Wow. Okay, the chicharong bulaklak is so good, crispy and juicy at the same time. Not too salty, not too oily, it's just right. Can you give me some of the pinakurat and the salsa one, please? No, salsa one, salsa one. Okay guys, this is Ilonggo Pinakurat. Look at that. It's or Sinamak. They call it Sinamak here. It's Pinakurat in Manila. This is full of Langkawas or Galangal chili and a few other items. We'll give this a try. Ooh. Just a bit. A little sourness goes a long long way we will try chicharong bulaklak with some of that sinamak Ooh, that packs a kick Ooh. <coughs> that woke me up that's really strong really really strong <laughs> I'm has a bite too but it's still delicious though okay we'll try it once more completely soaked in it yes i know it's spicy food and i am a glutton for punishment when it comes to spicy food <laughs> that's some really mature vinegar Okay. Now let's move on to our second dish, which is the calamares. There. Look at the calamares. Huge rings of squid, lightly coated in this batter. 
deep fried perfection. Mm. The squid is a bit chewy, but that batter is super crispy. So try it with a bit of that cinnamon. Oh. Coat my squid. Coat that squid really well. Okay. Mm. The acid from the cinnamon actually cuts a bit of the fattiness from the deep frying, but it gives it that certain spice that is really starting to make me sweat. Okay, so I'll move on to the rest of the dishes after I eat this last bite of Saram Bulakat. Okay guys, I've been craving for this. This is Kadyos Baboy Langka. You see the green, no, no, not the green, the brown beans at the bottom. This is Kadyos. I've tried looking for this in Manila. No matter which market I go to, I cannot find it. You can only find it here in the Ilongos or the Visayas areas and it has a somewhat like a mungo or mung bean texture when you crush it but it is so good okay but before that kajos is that baboy is pork and then we have langka which is langka is jackfruit but this is the unripe jackfruit and if you see there's a bit of green in this that is actually from the sour component of this dish but one okay not but two but one <laughs> now let's try the soup first oh nice sour kick and now we'll try some of that langka and kajos this is the only time I would eat vegetables on camera. So, savor the moment. Savor the moment. The nangka is super tender. It just melts in your mouth. It because of that sour component. It makes you want to eat more and more and more and more. Let's try this one with a bit of that pork. Okay, that pork is actually super tender. It takes second place compared to the langka and the kajos. I mean, the main star of this dish is the kajos and that langka. It's so good. Okay, now we will move on to the tanige. Let me just get a bit from my mom. Okay, guys. Look at that. Look at that tanige. It is soaked in butter, freshly cooked. Oh, it smells fresh and garlic too. There's chunks of garlic on top. We'll give this one a try. Mm. Okay, I don't want to compare, but in the in, in the Bacolod episode, we also had grilled tanige, 
but this one is a bit chunkier a bit more flavorful because this has a lot of garlic that one was just grilled with salt and pepper but this one has more flavor because the addition of that garlic mm -hmm. okay now it's time to try the last two dishes which is the sizzling crab meat in the grilled oh no not grilled steamed pasayan or shrimps okay this is the seasoning crab meat there's crabs there but i didn't order fresh ones because i didn't want to peel look at that mm. Not a single morsel of shell in that. The crab is so fresh. You can just, I think I was just swimming out there just while, uh, when, we, when we arrived. Uh, I'm, I'm stuttering because it's so good. I wish I have gotten more. Mm. I'll go for a second bite. But this time we'll add a bit of that pin, that sunamak. Sinamak. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying that so much. Now let's end this video with a highlight of shrimp. Okay. Take the head off. Take the tail off. Okay, this is the steamed shrimp that I just peeled. Mm. Oh, that shrimp is so good. No hint of fishiness, and meat is so tender, perfectly cooked. Okay, so I will continue eating this and I'll give you the review of the restaurant afterwards. The sun is now gleaming at my face. It's like, oh, oh see you guys. Okay, guys. You can see the light is perfect. Well, here's my review of everything I've eaten here in Iloilo. Start off with that delicious lapas bachoy that was heavenly and then we had the uh, molo and then here our dinner early dinner here in breakthrough let's give i'll give you the best dish i've had i have to say the best dish of all had to be that bachoy that bachoy is mind-blowingly good next to that has to be the tanigue that tanigue is really good. And then we go shrimp, chicharam bulaklak. And least favorite one has to be the crab. I, I, the first bite I took had no shell. But the rest of the bites I had had some shell in it. But it's just so small that it didn't bother me anymore. But flavor wise, it's really fresh. Okay. And my mom right now is eating the rest of the shrimp. She had already about eight pieces and she's slathering it in the butter from the kranige and putting calamansi on it so i believe she enjoys the shrimp too okay so this will be my last vlog here in iloilo because tomorrow i'm going back to manila and then after that i'll be going to another vacation trip with my brother 
Okay, so see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom, Never Busog. On Twitter at Paul Always Gutom, and on Facebook at Always Gutom, Never Busog. So till next vlog. See you in the dining room. In Ilongo, we would say Kaunta.